Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 54th tutorial in this course and uh, in this tutorial, we're going to see how we can insert data in a table in MySQL. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to first uh, check out the structure of uh, the table that we created uh, a couple of tutorials ago and uh, we called it student underscore info and we created it in the student database. So I'm going to first, uh, you know, check out the structure. And uh, for that, I'm going to type in DESC. Wait a second, let me get my cursor in here. So DESC and then the name of the table, which is student underscore info. And uh, well, there's a typo in there. So I'll just get rid of that. And uh, well, this is the structure of the table. So I have uh, a field called ID. I have a field called name, gender, email, and DOB. So, you know, I'm just going to type in some values uh, and show you guys how the insert into query in SQL works. So to insert values, you'll have to type in insert into and then you will have to follow this up with the name of the table. So let's say you want to add in stuff to the student underscore info table, you type in student underscore info and then within a set of parentheses, you type in the names of the fields for which you want to provide values. So remember this field, the ID field, when we create the table, we set a property for this field called auto underscore increment, right? So even if we don't include this in this uh, parameter list here or the field list here, you know, MySQL is going to give this field a value of one. So we are not going to type an ID here and it, it's automatically going to, you know, update the value. Like, you know, if we insert another row, then it'll uh, put the value two for the ID field. So it's going to increment this uh, field automatically. And that's why this property is called auto underscore increment. So I'm not going to include ID in here, but I'm going to include name. And uh, then I'm going to include gender. And uh, then I'm going to include email. And then uh, I'm also going to include DOB. And uh, then once you've done that on the next line, type in values. So that's another keyword. And you can see that MySQL workbench is actually highlighting all the SQL keywords in blue, right? So that makes it easy for me to distinguish the SQL keywords from, uh, you know, other things like table names and identifiers and stuff, right? So after typing values, you get another set of parentheses. And this time you have to type in the values that you want to insert in your table. So let's say for name, you want to add in John. And uh, then for uh, gender, you want to add in male and what else for email, you want to add in john at gmail.com and for DOB, which is a date field, you will have to type in uh, a date value within uh, single quotes, right? So this has to be inserted as a string value and uh, the format is you have to first type in the year as in four digits for the year. So let's say this guy was born on uh, 25th January, 1986. So I'll type in the year value first, which is 1986. Then I'll, uh, you know, put a forward slash and uh, type in the month number, which is uh, going to be zero one in this case, because I said January 25th. And then finally you type in 25, which is uh, the day value. Then you put in uh, a semicolon at the end of the query and press control enter. And uh, you would see in the output section uh, a message that one row was uh, affected and uh, the query was executed. Now, if you want to check whether this data was uh, successfully inserted in the table or not, uh, you know, if you want to make sure, then you can run a select star uh, query on this table. So what you'll have to do is type in select and then uh, the asterisk symbol, which is star, and this stands for give me everything that's in the table. So at the moment, we've got just one row. So it's going to return one row in the result set. Even if you had uh, 10 rows or 15 rows or 20 rows, it would have given you all the rows, uh, you know, from the table. So you type in select star, you type in from, which is another keyword that goes with the select query. And then you type in uh, the name of the table, which is uh, student underscore info, right? So student underscore info and then you put a semicolon at the end and press control enter to see the row. So, you know, ID is one name is John gender is male email address is John at gmail.com. So if you, you know, just uh, take the pointer over it, then you can see the value. And uh, similarly for DOB, you can see the value 1986 right? So this is how you insert data into tables in MySQL. And you can also use the MySQL for Excel plugin you know, which I uh, showed you guys in the last tutorial, you can use that uh, to create worksheets and uh, then 
you know transfer the contents of worksheets into tables in mysql you just have to make sure that uh if you already have a table in mysql then uh, the order of the columns in the worksheet needs to match the order of the columns in mysql but i think they have actually uh improved that and now you can sort of map the columns in the worksheet to the columns in the uh, in the table so you know that's something you can check out and uh, i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next one in which we'll uh, check out some more mysql you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we'll see you in the next video till then take care